Hey, hey, party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new Rampant Glitch Intro 01 Premiere Pro template. That's right, I said Premiere Pro. This is not After Effects. This is 100% Premiere Pro goodness. Everything's built natively inside Premiere, so you don't have to worry. You don't need any plugins, and all you basically need is Premiere and some footage. So yeah, so we're getting a lot of questions on how to use this thing, how to how to make it work and uh, you know get the desired effect. Because these are Premiere templates, uh, there's not a lot of resources out there for you to understand how they work. So I'm gonna walk you through this really, real quick so you can make the awesomeness without uh, any real effort or time on your side. So here we go. Now, before we jump into Premiere, let's go ahead and go into our Finder. Um, this is obviously something, uh, uh, this is Mac, but uh, this, is, this works the same on your PC. Find your project file that you downloaded, and what you're going to find is something like this. You're going to find the Rampant Glitch Intro Premiere Pro project file. You're going to find our installation PDF file right here. It just talks to you uh, real quick about our favorite fonts. Uh, if you have a question, how to fill out a question or a form or call us. And of course, uh, what version of Premiere these projects work with. This particular uh, project works with CC 2014 and above. So if you're using CS6, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. This is using technology that is just not available in CS6 at this time. So this is a CC uh, 2014 project and above. So the very first thing you do before you do anything is highlight your project file and duplicate it. Make a copy. Here's why. This is a project file. Once you make changes, it is changed forever. So make a backup, always make a backup. You can always go back to the zip file that you've downloaded from our website, but why not go ahead and make a backup anyway? Okay, and then the next step you do is either double click right here on your project file to load this into Premiere Pro, or you import it into a current Premiere Pro project file, up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and double click and open on it. All right, like I said, I'm in Premiere Pro. This is CC 2014. This works in 2014, 2015, and 2017, and anything later. When you first open up the project, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna show your timeline right here and it's basically the edit minus any configuration. All right, so your basic timeline comes out looking like this. It says video one, it's all glitchy, video two is all glitchy, and so on and so forth. For whatever reason, there's been a handful of people who've jumped in into this timeline and started replacing all this footage. Well, if you do that, well, you're gonna lose all your glitchiness because there's no glitchy when you remove it. Here's the thing, the way this timeline is set up is this right here, the, thing, the file called your timeline, the, the sequence called your timeline, is what you export. This is the last thing that you look at. You don't touch this unless you want to make changes. Uh, you, you simply just export. So what do I do? Well, let's go over here to the project window and you'll see some steps. Step one, step two, step three. This is all you need. You don't need to worry about anything else. Don't worry about these things called modules. Don't worry about any of that stuff. So let's just go through here. Step one, your videos. Right now, it's all the generic stuff where it says video one, video two, video three. So I need some footage. So let's go ahead and import first. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some of my favorite footage from Shutterstock. They're one of my favorite companies that make stock footage. All right, and I always hit, hit save, but you don't have to. So what do we do now? Well, let's twirl down this one slash your videos and open up module one, right? And you can either replace this file or just drop your video on top. I'm just gonna drop my video on top like that, right? So then I go back to your timeline and woo, already the glitchy goodness, see? Yeah. And that's all you do. You just keep going through these modules. Module two, let's drag in some footage. La la la. Module three, let's drag in some footage. La la la. Module four, let's drag in some footage. La la la. And I don't have enough footage in here for six clips, so I'm gonna re revisit some footage. La la la. And six, same thing, okay. So then if I go back to your timeline, I've now put footage in modules one through six. So if I scrub through real quick, woo. Yeah, now of course, depending upon how fast your machine is and um, what kind of video card you have, uh, this may take a little bit of rendering. It's, it exports very quickly. I, I deliberately built this on the oldest, garbagest, nastiest Mac I could find and it works just fine. So I wanted to make sure that it's not gonna uh, screw anybody up. So there you go, I'm scrolling through here and now we've got our temp, oh, 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 that's right. We still need to do our logo and our tagline. So let's go ahead, step one is done roll that back down. Step two, replace this with your logo or some kind of text, right? So we're just going to go ahead and double click on this and I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to put in uh, the rampant logo. So I need to grab that real quick. Okay, I've got my rampant logo and this of course can be a ping file or an AI file, uh, an animation if you want, whatever you want it to be. Now make sure to turn off this your logo nonsense so it doesn't uh, show through. And there we go. We've got the rampant logo in there. So if I go back to our timeline, Go to logo module, oh, there we go. 
cool. Now, of course, you can change the color if it's too dark or whatever you want, but already, broop, got that. So then what's left? Just the tagline. So let's go to step three right here, your tagline, and double click on the sequence that says tagline, insert tagline or URL here. So let's just go ahead and double click on that and double click on tagline. It's gonna open up the titler. And I'm just gonna say, run rampant. If I knew how to spell the uh, rolling R, I would. So there you go, roll it back, scrub it through, and you've got yourself a glitchy intro with a logo and a tagline. It's that simple, folks. And then all you do is you highlight your timeline here, go under File, and export and hit media and it'll pop up and you just export your video the, to whatever flavor you like and you're done that's it it's that simple you just replace your videos replace your logo replace your text and you're good to go the idea is to make this as quick and painless as possible so that's it so remember for this uh, premiere pro template or any other one go to premiere templates.net that's premiere templates.net once again i'm sean mullen from rampant design tools thank you for watching